we can now see the rain gauge that is used to measure rainfall the instrument that is used to measure rainfall is called rain gauge see figure 5.8 in your textbook the funnel that is used in the rain gauge has a specific diameter the rain falling in this funnel is collected in a bottle fitted in the gauge the collected water is then measured with the help of a measuring jar in areas of heavy rainfall the reading of the rain is taken every 3 hours the measuring jar reads in millimeters the gauge is kept in open ground on a 30 cm high flat mount hence the rain water is collected without any obstruction much of water does 1 mm of rain mean if we do not let 1 mm of rain move as run off that means just let it go off uh, let it flow and let it penetrate in the ground or evaporate then how much water can be accumulated let's understand this by an example if 1 mm of rainfall occurs over 1 square kilometer area then we get 10 lakh liters of water from it how is snowfall measured snowfall can also be measured with the help of a rain gauge for this the container full of snow particles is heated carefully to melt the snow then the water obtained is measured a layer of 120 mm of ice is equivalent to 10 mm of rainfall we will now see what is fog dew and frost when the condensation or solidification of the water vapor in the atmosphere occurs near the earth's surface then we can see fog dew or frost frost is the particles of snow formed from the sublimation of water vapor at the surface these are seen on the plant leaves window panes etc the temperature of the layers of the air near the surface of the earth reduces as the temperature reduces water vapor condenses in this process 
vapor turns into microscopic water particles and float in the air when density of these droplets in the air increases fog occurs when moisture laden air near the earth's surface comes in contact with very cold objects condensation of the vapor takes place they turn into very small water droplets these water droplets stick to the surface of the cold objects this is called dew if the temperature of the air is less than 0 degree celsius the water droplets stuck to the surfaces of cold objects freeze this frozen water droplet is called frost dew and frost occur on a large scale in winters effects of precipitation the main source of potable that is drinking water that can be consumed is available on the earth is precipitation as excessive rainfall is destructive so is the absence of rain if there is excessive rainfall that is heavy rainfall that is not good at the same time if there is no rainfall that too is not good for the society floods may occur because of heavy rainfall causing loss of life and property if precipitation does not take place then condition of drought arise heavy rainfall causes floods and no rainfall will cause droughts there is a shortfall of food and food may have to be imported farmers condition becomes grave a country's economy gets affected farmers condition becomes grave means they totally depend on rain for the cultivation of crops and if there are no rains or if there is excessive rains the condition of a farmer goes from worst to even worst a good rainfall at the right time
increases crop production while untimely rain causes damage to the crops the rainfall in india is quite erratic and uncertain or irregular depending on the rainfall is quite a risk visibility reduces because of highly dense fog it affects the means of transportation like roads railways waterways and the airways accidents may take place in such conditions trains flights and other transport services may have to be cancelled frost is harmful to crops and causes accident spread on the road fog and dew damage some crops by spreading diseases while it may be beneficial to some crops acid rain because of air pollution in industrial areas various gases get mixed in the air different acids are created when the water vapor in the air reacts chemically with these gases such as nitric acid sulfuric acid etc precipitation of water with dissolves dissolved acids reach the ground such rain falled is called acid rain this type of rain is harmful to living organism as well as the non living objects a very good example is the taj mahal the white marble has changed color because of this kind of rain there are many other examples wherein acid rain has caused problems to plants and animals acid rain has been shown to have adverse impacts on forests fresh waters such as lakes streams and marshes especially to the aquatic environments it can be harmful to fish and other wildlife soils killing insect and aquatic life forms causing paint to peel corrosion of seal structures such as bridges and weathering of stone buildings and statues as well as having impacts on human health let us revise what we just lost in the lesson 
the first thing that we learned in the lesson was precipitation what is precipitation when water falls in solid or liquid state on earth surface it is known as precipitation when temperature falls below the freezing point the water vapor directly turns into snowflakes this process is called as sublimation the next thing that we understood was the characteristics of the snowfall it is friable it is opaque it is solid in form and does not flow like water and at high altitudes and temperature region snowfall occurs at mean sea level and in tropical region it occurs in the high altitudes above snow line hail is when very high temperature uh, in the upper moment of and of hot air the temperature drops with greater height the condensation of the moisture water vapor and upward movement of air this leads to water droplets that move to the higher altitudes and temperature drops down further solidification of these droplets and hail is formed the primary source of water on the planet is from a rainfall and there are three types of rainfall the first type of rainfall is convectional the second is orographic the third is cyclonic rainfall convectional rainfall is taking place in equatorial regions it happens throughout the year and it happens in very high temperature regions due to the heat of the sun evaporation takes place and air near the surface also gets heated air becomes light and in this results to convectional upward movement of air temperature gradually falls with the height and condensation takes place in the form of water droplets and this water droplets fall on the earth as rain such rainfall is known as convectional rainfall when the phenomenon of rainfall occurs due to obstruction of mountains it is called as the orographic rainfall moist air coming from the lakes or the seas obstructed by how mountain ranges such winds start moving upwards along the slope of the mountain and then the temperature of such winds drop with the height condensation takes place and formation of water droplets rainfall takes place such rainfall is known as orographic rainfall the windward side of the uh, mountain gets more rainfall and on the leeward side it becomes the rain shadow region so that area in the leeward area is called as the rain shadow area india receives rain due to monsoon winds is predominantly an example of orographic rainfall circular motion of air gives a momentum to the cyclone air starts moving upwards and the temperature of the air reduces condensation takes place in the form of water droplets and this leads to rain when such water droplets fall on the ground in the form of rain it is called as cyclonic rain it the extent of tropical cyclones is limited and it is also stormy in nature it takes place more in the temperate regions we also understood that the distribution of rainfall in the world is uneven and the factors affecting the rainfall are air pressure temperature relief latitudinal extent and the proportion of the moisture the instrument used to measure the rain is known as the rain gauge when condensation or solidification of water vapor in the atmosphere takes place near the surface then one can see condensation in the form of fog dew and frost although precipitation is an important source of the potable water across the globe it also has certain effects on life and property excessive precipitation can have damaging effects at the same time less precipitation can also have its effects acid rain is very harmful for living organism as well as non living objects